dear students myself dr deepthi shrivastav associate professor in zoology government dungar college bikane with the continuation of diapos in insects today we will be discuss on some more important things about diapos many insects undergo periods of reduced metabolic activity or diapause diapause which may occur during any stage of life cycle egg nymph larva pupa or adult is usually characterized by a cessation of growth in the immature stages and a cessation of sexual activity in adult in some insects it is a reaction to unfavorable environmental conditions in others such as certain moths and butterflies diapause is a necessary stage of the life cycle the 17 year larval and pupal periods of the cicada are examples of diapause this form of dormancy is particularly common among insects that live in arid desert areas where during the dry and hot summers the insects usually hide themselves in the soil at suitable depths or under any available protective objects although a state of arrested development may occur during any stage diapause occurs most commonly in pupae in temperate latitudes many insects overwinter in the pupal stage example cocoons the immediate cause of diapause failure to secrete the growth and molting hormones usually is induced by a decrease in day length as summer wanes among some insect species diapause lasts only until favorable environmental conditions return after which the insect resumes its normal activities in other species favorable environmental conditions alone do not break the diapause some other stimulus such as cold or food is necessary the eggs of the mosquito aedes vexans for example remain in diapause until the damp soil on which the eggs are laid is flooded to form a pool suitable for the larvae the eggs of another mosquito aedes canadensis are laid in the same soil as those of aedes vexans but they will not hatch until they have been subjected to cold thus when both species lay their eggs together in early summer those of aedes vexans hatch in pools formed by late summer rains but those of aedes canadensis overwinter and hatch in the spring rain pools not only are certain conditions required to break diapause but in some species example certain cutworms a specific length of time must elapse before the stimuli are effective the onset of diapause depends upon a combination of environmental factors operating on the regulatory mechanisms that is nervous and endocrine systems of the insect photo period and temperature influence the endocrine function of the brain which synthesizes and secretes a substance that is hormone that controls other endocrine organs specifically the prothoracic glands under the stimulation of the brain hormone the prothoracic prothoracic glands secrete a hormone 
called ecdiosone. When stimulation by the brain hormone ceases, ecdiosone is no longer secreted and in this and in its absence all insect growth and metamorphosis are halted. halted. Thus, provision is made for the overwintering of immature insects in a state of developmental stand still. With the arrival of more favorable conditions, ecdiosone is again secreted and development resumes. Because many insect species have more than one generation of progeny per year, the prothoracic glands do not cease functioning except at some stage in the life cycle of the brood that must overwinter. Diapause is controlled by hormones. The activity of the prothoracic gland is required for the termination of post embryonic diapause in silk moth platysemia. In other moths like bombyx and phalenoids, a secretion from the subesophageal ganglia of the females induces diapause in the embryo. The arrest of development in larval and pupal diapause has classically been ascribed to an arrest of PTTH secretion. In some species, the biological clock directly regulates PTTH secretion by a mechanism located entirely within the brain while in other species PTTH secretion may be restrained by high levels of JH juvenile hormone. Indeed high JH levels during larval diapause lead to the invocation of JH in regulation of PTTH release in non diaposing molds. In some parasitic insects, development is closely attended to the hormonal changes in the host. In these insects, diapause is induced by synchrony with diapause in the host. Certain organisms survive the periodic harsh conditions like environmental changes, scarcity of food, temperature changes, etc. by going into a dormant state. It is the state characterized by minimum or no metabolic activity in the body of the organism. Dormancy is a temporary phase in which an animal's physical activity, growth, and development are paused. This helps the organisms to conserve energy by practically being inactive or sleeping through the harsh phase. The kind of dormancy varies from organism to organism. Some go into hibernation state in which animals remain in a dormant state with the fall in temperature. On the other hand, diapause is a state of dormancy mostly seen in, in insects in which the growth of insect is suspended for a while. Hibernation It is a state of minimum metabolic activity in the body of the organism. Hibernation is seasonal and is characterized by low body temperature, lower heart activity, low metabolic rate and so on. It is seen in some endotherms during the winter time. In this time, the organisms that hibernate go into a state that resembles deep sleep so that their metabolism comes down and they burn less energy. In the state of hibernation, the organism slows its breathing, temperature and other vital functions that burn energy. It is mostly a response by the body of organisms to non-availability of food and low temperature. 
it may last from a few weeks to months rodents like ground hogs mostly go into hibernation other examples are bears bats ground squirrels etc to hibernate animals have to eat as much as possible they eat more and build extra fat layers so that these fat layers are broken down in the hibernation state to survive diapause versus hibernation diapause diapause is often seen in insects during its developmental stages it is a state in which the development of the organisms stops spontaneously by reduction of metabolic activity it is a period of suspended development in the growing organisms it may occur at any stage of development of the insect but it is mostly seen in the pupa stage diapause occurs when the level of growth hormones decreases in the body of the organism thus it is similar to hibernation but is marked by a pause in the developmental stages of the organism difference between diapause and hibernation diapause diapause is a state of temporary dormancy marked by the pause in the growth and development of any organism mostly insects while hibernation hibernation is the state of the metabolic slow down of an organism to withstand extreme conditions mostly during the winter occurrence diapause takes place both in summer and winter which means it may occur at any time of the year hibernation occurs as a result of harsh environmental conditions and scarcity of food which happens more during winters adaptations diapo in diapause the amount of free water reduces in hibernation no such type of adaptation is seen in hibernation temperature temperature does not lower down to a greater extent in diapause temperature is lowered as opposed to diapause and it may go down up to 0 degree centigrade in hibernation state of state of diapause it is marked as a dormant stage in the nourishment and development of an organism hibernation it is a state of in activation in mature ectothermic organisms reasons for happening the development of species is postponed to survive with unfavorable conditions that include scarcity of growth hormones owing to day and night schedules in diapause while in hibernation hibernation helps animals survive harsh winters by getting them into a deep sleep and slowing down the rate at which the body burns energy examples diapause seen in insects such as monarch butterflies and the embryos of many oviparous species of fishes go on to diapause hibernation occurs in mammals like california pocket mouse kangaroo mouse bears bats squirrels different species of birds some reptiles etc second type of dormancy is known as estivation estivation occurs in animals living in deserts and tropical regions this is done to protect themselves from hot and dry climate 
and due to the scarcity of food and water. This can be seen in earthworms, molluscs, arthropods, reptiles and amphibians. A lungfish can estivate and survive without water for 3 years. The sole motive of estivation is to prevent water loss or dehydration and to save energy. Examples, lady beetles have been reported to estivate. Mosquitoes also are reported to un undergo estivation. False honey ants are well known for being winter active and estivate in temperate climates. Bogong moths will estivate over the summer to avoid the heat and lack of food sources. Adult alfalfa weevils estivate during the summer in the southeastern United States during which their metabolism respiration and nervous systems slow a dampening of activity. So, आज हमने diapos के बारे में कुछ और बातें समझी और हमने देखा कि dormancy period और में हाइबरनेशन एस्टिवेशन और डायपोज ये तीनों अवस्थाएं सम्मिलित होती हैं और इन तीनों अवस्थाओं में क्या अंतर होता है इसके बारे में हमने जानकारी प्राप्त की थैंक यू